Hello everyone, this is RG Scoville. Uh, we will be talking about combining relations. We can combine relations in the same manner we combine any other sets. Like for example, we have here the sets A, A and set B, where set A has an element of 1, 2, 3 and 4. Well, set B has elements 0, 1, and 2. So let's say, for example, we have relation 1 that says or having the elements 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, and 2, 2. Well, the other relation, R2, has the elements of 1, 1, 3, 2, and 4. 2. So we are looking or finding for uh, the union of the two relations. We have here the two relations 1 and another relation 2. So the union of relation 1 and relation 2 we have here just combining the sets of relation 1 and relation 2. So, for example, we have here relation 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, and 2, 2. And having also relation to 1, 1, 3, 2, and 4, 2. So, first, we will have the 1, 0 for the first set of element. Okay, so we have here 1, 0. The next element, okay, so we have here 1, 2, but on R2, we have 1, 1. So, we put first. 1, 1. So we have here. So next element for R1, we have here 1, 1, in which 1, 1 is already in R2. So therefore, uh, we will not write 1, 1, for we have already 1, 1 in our union. So we proceed to the other set, in which this set that we have is 2, 2. So we have here 2, 2. So next, for 2, 2, we have here the element 3, 2. So we have here element 3, 2 for the next set. So finally, we have the set 4, 2. So we write here 4, 2. So these are the set that we have for the union of relation 1 and relation Okay, another we have the intersection of relation 1 and relation 2. So getting the intersection for them, simply we will just have their common elements. So we have here the common set, as we say. So common set there is 1, 1 for the 2. Okay? So no other set that is common for them. So we have here the intersection of relation 1 and relation 2 normally is 1, 1. Okay? So another, we are subtracting relation 1 to relation 2. So how we do do that? Subtracting it is simply getting the elements. For example, we have R1. So R1 will be subtracted to the element R2. It can be subtracted with the element R2 when we ha they have the same uh, sets that we say. Okay, like for example, they, they are common in 1, 1. So because they are common in 1, 1, so we will not consider 1, 1 here, or normally we will deduct 1, 1 from R2, R1, sorry. Okay, so we have there. R1 and R2, they have 1, 1, so therefore, what is remaining for R1 is, we have here 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, and 2, so that is our prod, uh, sets. Okay, 1, 0, 1, 2, and 2, 2. Okay, next, subtracting the set of R2 to the set of R1. So as what we said, what is common there is 1, 1. So therefore, 
in the set of R2 deducted with 1, 1, what is remaining there is 3, 2, and 4, 2. So that is our set for R2 subtracted with R1, okay, which is 3, 2, and 4, 2. For now, we have R1, XR, R2. Meaning, it can be the one or for R1 or the other R2. Okay? So, let for example, we have here For the set of R1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2. And for the set of R2, we have 1, 1, 3, 2, and 4, 2. So, for XOR, or R1, XOR, R2, we simply get the uh, union of the set here, the union of the set minus the intersection of the sets. Okay? So, in other words, we have here uh, 1, 0, okay, we have here, but not 1, 1. So, we have here uh, a problem. Why? Because the intersection of R1 and R2 is 1, 1. So, we will not put R1 anymore because we are uh, subtracting the union of the relations of R, R, R1 and R2 with the intersection of R1 and R2. R2. So, we are sub sub subtracting them. So, we are getting the set here, 1, 1, out of the two sets. So, what is remaining here? So, we will cancel here, 1, 1. Okay? So, there. We have 1, 0. Instead of 1, 1, because it is cancelled, we will go to the next set, which is 1, 2. The next set is 2, 2, 3, 2, and the last one is the set or the element 4 of the element 4, 2. Okay, so that is for uh, combining relations. For the next part, for combining relations, okay, we have here the uh, composition. Okay, so we are, if we let relation 1 be a relation from set A to set B, and we let also relation 2 for set B to set C, so the composition of the relation 1 and relation 2 consists of ordered pairs AC. Okay, so such that A is the element of the main set. A. Then we have here uh, B is a subset for the main set, a uh, main set B. We have also here C, an element of the main set C, where A, B are the elements of R, or our for our relation. Okay. Then B, C are elements of relation 2, okay? So, what is the composition of the relations that we have here? Composition of R1 and R2. So, if we have here our R1, uh, for, to make it clearer, so we have here from 1, 2, 3 to 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? For the, for example, so we have here for R1, we have here 1, 1, the ordered pairs 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 1, and we have here 3, 4. Okay, for R2, we have this relation from 1, 2, 3, 4 to 0, 1, 2. So, for an example here we have here we have we have a set of example one zero two zero three one 
3, 2, and 4, 1. So how can we get the composition of R1 and R2? So to make it under to make it clearer, we can understand here. So first we have the relation one. For the first ordered pair, we have the first element here, which is one. Okay? So we simply put one here. Then in combined relation, we are just mapping here. Okay, what, what do I mean? So, so in one here, for the relation, it is map, map to an one. So we have here, so one here for the element is map to one. Okay, because we are referring here to one, map to one. So, find the, or combine composition of the relations because it is one here we will find also one where can be we find one for this set okay so for this set so we have here one is mapped to zero okay so in other words we have here one as i said one is mapped to 1, but 1 here is mapped to 0. Therefore, the map is 1, 0. For the next part, we have composing relations. We let here our 1 be a relation from set A to set B. And we let R2 be a relation from set B to set C. The composition of R1 and R2 okay, consists of the ordered pairs we have here, the ordered pair AC, such that A is an element of the set of A. Then set B is a subset of the set B. So we have here. Then C is an element of the set C. Where the ordered per AB is an element of the relation. Okay? And the ordered per BC is an element of the relation. So, talking about the composition of R1 and R2, if R1 is a relation from 1 to 3, so we have here uh, R1, okay, we have here from 1 to 3, we have also R2, 1 to 4. Now, to make it short or clearer, we have there the uh, set of the ordered pairs for R1. So we have here the first ordered pair 1, 1, okay, second 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 3, 1, and 3, 4. Okay, so that is for R1. So for R2, okay, this relation from 1, 2, 3, 4 to 1, 2, or we just simply make it clear for these examples. Of elements so we have here 1 0 2 0 3 1 3 2 and 4 1 so we have here the example so having a composition to make it clearer or we can understand it so the composition of R1 and R2 we simply mapping its relation to each other like for example we have here uh, for the first ordered pair we have 1 1 uh, meaning uh, 1 here okay 1 here is map to this one here okay so that is the mapping okay having the composition we simply map 1 for the relation 1 here for relation 1 so 1 here is map as I said with map 1 but mapping the second ordered pair will be referred to the 
relation to where uh, one here will be our map to the first element here which is one so what is map with one here yeah, as I said one as the second ordered pair here uh, second pair here so we have here which instead of one map where one one here is mapped with one okay we will map our one with zero because we find it as we map relation one to relation two and we are composing so we simply change the second pair to the second pair of here map mapping the element here which is the element that is found in the second uh, pair of R1. So, we have here 0. Therefore, our first map is 1. Okay? That is map with 1 here, where 1 is map here with 0. Therefore, we have 1, 0. Okay? So, next we have... For the next element, we have here, uh, next ordered pair, we have 1, map to 3. So, we, we put here 1 for the first element, but for the second element, okay, we will look for the element here for 3. So, we have the element here 3 here, so we have 2, 3, okay, another 3 is here, okay, so, therefore, uh, Mapping it, so we have here 1, okay, 1, so we have here 3, 3 there, here, is mapped with 1, so therefore, so 1 is mapped with 1, in which 1 here is found here, so we have here 1, which is 3, that is mapped with 3 here, okay, so that is what we call as composing of relation. The result is 1 map with 3 which is 1 therefore the compos compo composition there is 1 1. So another we have here 1 4. So we put 1 here we have here so 4 but before that as I said there are a 2 3 okay so we have another 3 here. Okay, so we also put again with the mapping 1. So we have here 1, 1 here. Then 3 is mapped with here, which is 2. So that's why we put there 1, 2. Okay, so because we have 3 here, uh, uh, 2, 3. Okay, we have 3, 1, and 3, 2. So we have also... For mapping here, for 1, 3, we will put two ordered pairs. Because our 3 that is mapped with 1 here has two ordered pairs reflected. Okay, that's why we answer here. 1, 1, and 1, 2. Okay, so another, we have 1, 4. So, we have here first. Okay, for the next topic, we have here composing relations with themselves. Okay, we have the ordered pair AC is a subset of the relation. Okay, the relation, we have here the ordered pair AB, subset of the relation. And the ordered pair BC is in is a subset of the relation. Okay? So, that is, if A is grandparent of C, we are finding here the relation. So, the relation R, if R is a relation from 0, 1, 2, 3 to 1, 2, 3. Okay, where we have the relation here, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, and 4, 3. So, we will just focus here to make it clearer. Okay, so, 
composing relations with themselves. So we simply, uh, R is uh, the composition of R to R. So we have here the uh, elements of R. So as I said, we are mapping there. So first we have 1. Why? Because we have here 1 map to 1. So, because our, we already put here 1, then map with 1, so simply we are looking again to 1, we refer here. So, 1 is mapped to 1. Therefore, we put 1 here, okay, because we are composing relation to themselves. Okay, another, so we have here 2. Okay, 2, put 2 here simply, then map to 1. So we look for one in the relation for in the set of elements for R. So one here is mapped with one. Therefore, the pair for two the, here, okay, which is mapped with one, where one here is mapped with one. Therefore, we have here one. We put one here. Okay, next we have three. Okay, so we put 3 here, then we have 2, okay, so mapping to themselves, we have here 2, mapped with 1, therefore, the other pair for 3 here is 1, because 2 here is mapped with 1, okay, so we have here 3, 1. Okay, next, we have 4, 3. So, we simply put 4 here. Then, 3 here is mapped with 2. Therefore, we put here 2. Okay, that is composing relations with themselves. Next, we have the, we have the power of relation. So, we have here, if R is a relation, okay, from 0, 1, 2, 3 to 0, 2, 3, Okay, where the elements of R here, okay, so we have there 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, and 4, 3. Okay, so we are finding for R to the N. Okay, that's that N, or for N, where we have the values 2, 3, 4, and 5. So talking about R N, so we simply substitute for N here, so the values are, we have 2, 3, 4, and 5. Therefore, uh, Rn here will become 2 for the first value, then R in here 3 until R5. Okay, first, we have R2. Okay, so R2 is just equal to RR, or composition of RR. For uh, This is the same as composition of relations to themselves. Okay, but this is a power of relation. Okay, so we have RR, so we have the values there for R, so we, we can now have R2. So for R2, so first we have the mapping, first ordered pair for R is 1, 1. So we have here, so put 1 first, as I said, put 1 first, then we have here 1, okay, 1 here, so we have in the element, we have here 1 mapped with 1 again. So therefore, our answer is 1, 1. So next, we have 2. So we put 2 here. Okay, map with 1. So as we said, that is, we have 1 here mapped with 1 again. So therefore, the answer is 2, 1. Next, we have 3, 2. So normally, we put 3 here. 3, then 2. So, the mapping for 2, we have 1. So, therefore, we put here 1. So, next, we have 4. So, we simply put 4 here. Then, for 3, it is uh, 3. It is mapped with 2 here. So, we'll put there 2. So, that is the uh, first uh, power subordination R2 here, R2. So, next, we will have R3 is equal to R2, or the composition of R2 and R. So, we have here R2, we have there R. Okay, 
So, we are simply mapping here. So, first we have 1 or R2 because R2 is map is, is mapped to R. Okay, so 1, we have here another 1 where 1 is mapped here with 1. Therefore, the answer is 1, 1. Okay, next we have 2. Okay, the partner is 1, so the same. We have 1 mapped with 1, therefore, we have 2, 1. Okay, there, 3. Okay. Which is here, as it is state, uh, right, written, 3. Then, 1. Okay. We have, it is mapped with another 1. Therefore, the answer is 3, 1 for R3. Okay, so we are talking about R3. Next, we have 4 for R2. Okay, then we write simply 4 here. So, for 2, we have there 2 mapped with 1. Therefore, the answer is 4, 1. Okay, that is for R3. So, R4, so that is R3, composition of R3 and R. So, we have here R3, the same, we have also processes the same. Okay, R. Okay, so therefore, so 1, we put 1 here, 1 is mapped, we have here 1, mapped to 1, therefore, the answer is 1 again, so 1, 1. So, for 2, mapped with 1, then 1 here. Uh, is mapped also with 1, therefore the answer is 1. So for 3, okay, we are looking for 3 here. Uh, uh, for 3 and R3, we have R3 here, we are putting 3 down, then map with 1. So therefore we have 1 here, mapped with 1, so the answer is 3, 1. So next we have for R3. As I said, for R4 is R3, position of R3 and R4. Okay, so we have here, so 4, down 4, then 1, map to 1, therefore the answer is 4, 1. Okay, that is for R4. Okay, so we go to R5. R5 is simply R4 and R. Okay, so we have here R. So we have 1, put 1 here, then map with 1 here. So 1 being mapped also with 1, therefore we put 1, 1. So next we have 2, write 2 here. Okay, looking for 1, as 1 is mapped with 1, so we put 2, 1. So we have 3. Put down 3 here, then, okay, 1, as stated, that 1 is mapped with 1, we put another 1. Okay, we have 4, okay, down, we put 4 down here, then, okay, 1, as stated, 1 is mapped with 1, so we have 4, 1. So that is for the powers of relation, okay? So, thank you. This is our Cisco view. That's all.